Hello, Jane Faze here from Sydney, Australia. Well, I thought I'd celebrate uh, reaching 2,000 followers. Uh, thank you to everyone out there who is following me on Instagram. Uh, I'm absolutely chuffed that um, you uh, like my art and choose to follow along. So today I'm going to start a Christmas collage. And the first step for that is finding a magazine image transfer that might suit that purpose. So here's a few examples. And um, really what I'm looking for is an image of, I guess, a humble um, look rather than an extravagant, confident staring down the barrel of a lens um, and just a little bit too pouty and gushing. So these are a few images that I am have drawn out just to show you what I'm looking for. So I'm going to pull this image. But before I did that, I have already had a bit of a warm up and this was the result. And so this image was quite good. Um, but I haven't done any laser, oh, sorry, uh, magazine image transfer for a while. I've been doing quite a bit of laser image transfer and it's actually quite different how much paint, acrylic paint, you put on the plate. So I want to show you that because that was my first pull. And the reason I'm showing you this is that if you've got an, a good image, such as this one, that you want to use in your image transfer my suggestion is don't use that first take a few goes on less um less than favorite images so that you can then you know get your hand in as far as how much paint and um and just the method so i've got my gel plate ready i've actually got myself a wider brayer this time this is i think a six inch rather than the four inch and so what I love about this is that it actually creates fewer lines or you need to do just fewer strokes um, to cover the plate. So I think last time I'd put too much on, I was still thinking in the lines of my uh, laser image transfer. So this time I'm going to just put a little bit less on and massaging it into the plate well sorry about that keep it square for you hopefully and just giving it a good massage just getting that paint fine and even i've actually got a bit of a mark on my plate where I had a piece of paper indenting in so I'm hoping that's going to pop out sometime or I'll flip over my flip over my plate to use the other side so and I'm just really making this layer of acrylic very fine and even and I'm going to lay down my image. Try and get rid of any air bubbles. And hopefully this will work a bit better than the last time. Giving it a good rub. Make sure there's good adhesion there. So the idea is, is that I'm just going to work this in with a bit of a Christmas message and hopefully this one will turn out nicely that's pretty good there's a couple of um just marks which i'm going to lighten one on her lip there which is a bit unfortunate but that's okay and i'm just going to leave them there's a little mark there where as I said, that piece of cardboard had pressed into the plate. So I'm going to let that dry. And if you've been following me, you know that I use a hairdryer. Uh, I do my videos in real time. So I'm just going to dry that. 
because I'm going to pull the print onto tissue paper using matte medium, which is my preferred method. So just giving that a good dry, keeping your eye on it, not too hot. should do I'll just pop my brayer in water and I've got another one ready to go to do my matte medium onto tissue paper I've got my sheet of art tissue here ready to go matte medium and a clean brayer and just a row of that to Spread evenly on to the plate. And this really just acts as a beautiful adhesive layer that pulls the print onto the tissue. And usually it works really well. Sometimes the tissue uh, creases, so it's important to lay it down as I'm doing here, really sort of pushing out any creases, especially over the face. So there's a couple of little ones there, but that's really quite uh, just a, a feature, I guess, of gel printing. I'm happy that there's not a crease over her eyes. So massaging that down well. Drying it now with the hair dryer. So I haven't quite worked out my layout or uh, the final idea. I'll be focusing on the first chapter of Luke in the New Testament where it talks about how Mary and Joseph found out about that they were going to give birth to Jesus. And so that will be part of the installation of this collage. So that feels quite dry now. And we'll give it a pull up and see how it goes. So her eyes have come up nicely. There's obviously a few of those creases which we anticipated but that's come up really nicely so there's the tissue magazine image transfer that I'll use in a collage in the next video thanks for joining me and thanks for being one of the 2,000 followers that I've currently got on Instagram bye bye